Alrighty, welcome back. We are in a dilemma. No, we're not in a dilemma. We are in a part of a build where things gotta be like, as we put the body on there, we got the body where it's at, the engine is where it's at. With the car, I think, looks really pretty, looks pretty awesome with the engine in it and stuff. But there's an issue when we keep coming forward. Now that we have the engine way up in the air, which it's not, usually not, if you look at them, you, generally the engine or the breather is not that high in the car, which caused the transmission tunnel, and which caused, right down the line, is the generator and the fan. So when the fan and the generator go on, there's, we have two water ports there. We have to try to get a radiator on this bad boy. And where the engine is up so high, the fan, I'm not sure if it will cut the hoses off or not because of, I don't want the radiator, I don't want the, the red shell that high on the car. I mean, let's face it, I really probably don't even, I'd want it that high right there probably. And if it matches up with the front, and, and the, it could be an issue with the fan, that's all. Yeah, you want to keep getting it down. And I do not want to put a electric fan on it because I don't want to build that car. I want to build as if you could have done it whenever. Vintage chart room. Yeah, also, Nathan's saying with this carburetor on it, it's not in a, there you go, there's another piece that's not original on it, I guess, but with the generator shoved in, don't know if the carburetor's even gonna fit. Mm, so, they yeah. got the carburetor on it because they got some work done to it. It's got an aftermarket intake on it and stuff like that. There's some work done to it, that's why that carburetor's on it. Yeah, I don't, I, and, I, and I don't wanna undo it. No, it works too good with that on it, right? So, it Nathan, had, it had the alternator, I had a short alternator on it with the bracket and stuff, but we stole it off this motor and put it on the 56 truck last year. So now we don't have what was on it. Sometimes we rob Peter to pay Paul. But basically he's just going to end up trying to mess with it a little bit, see what goes on. He's going to have to search for some bolts and that sort of stuff. While he's doing that, I'm going to be fixing the corner right here. Um, that could be scary to some, um, but not me. We'll fix it easily, and uh, I'll take you through how I'm going to do it, and uh, you'll know just as well as I know, and, and at the same time, you'll get to see what's going on. That's all we can film is what we're doing. We can film no more, no less. All right, I'm going to get myself a piece of paper. I don't want to tear it off the frame because that's Doug's paper. That wouldn't be the thing to do. Not even close. Making the back piece. Should be wide enough. Thank you for coming back, everybody. I'm Bad Chad Queen Joanne. Nate the Wizard um, is going to play with that there. So I'm going to do this. As I look at this piece, actually, what I'm going to do first, I have put a curtain all the way around the, the construction of the square stock. Um, I did do no more, did no less than the last time you've seen, but I have the square stock right here. It's visible. And then you have the inside, well, it's the inside sill, the inside piece for the inner fender um, this fender this has got this piece of metal on it then it's layered again on the other side with another piece of metal so that's that's very strong in holding everything together but i still want to continue this piece down along the square stock and then refit everything like i've got that um, basically i'm just going to cut out a little bit of it and we'll just make it we'll just fit it in um, let's do this first i had a couple pieces of metal cut and i threw them somewhere where did i throw them They got misplaced. Excuse me, sweetheart. Just looking for that little piece of metal I had. I had two little strips of metal. All right, not gonna, not gonna look for them. I'm just gonna cut a couple. Here we go. Strip of metal. I'm gonna put this piece of metal down inside there. See if I can get that lined up there. Weld that together. I'm gonna tack that on the square stock probably from the inside, and then uh, we'll have the inside, and then we'll start making the outside. I'm just gonna wrap it around as far as I think I need it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it off there. And the reason I'm gonna wrap it around there a little bit, because I think it needs it. Sometimes I get confused drawing a not such a straight line, wondering why I did that, but let's get this. I want this to go. Looks like it lines up pretty good like that. I don't know why. 
I want this to go around the corner a little bit, so I want a little bend on this end. I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna put a little bend on it in the little machine here. Let's do this. Pretty simple stuff, you know. stuff there and we'll get that in top on top of that square stock the square stock is straight so we're going to put this piece in straight with it that basically is going to be the inside piece excuse me it's going to do me this and, uh, Just so you can get in there. I'll do that. Then I'll booby trap you with a ground cord trip on. And then I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna open the trunk lid, see if I can't get it welded from the inside, make it easier on me. Ooh, perfect. Lovey dovey all the time. I'm ready. I'm getting trained. I'm getting trained on that. And now I'm looking for it. It's funny how a person can be trained. Isn't it? You still teach an old dog new tricks? Oh, well, I mean, if I haven't got the mic on, like, I mean, I gotta, I gotta go to the helmet or hat and find it. Yeah, so everything that's being done with the car, um, you really have to, what can I say? Joel and me were talking last night. And we were talking about a friend of ours that we met in California. His name's Radar. And he has a 63 Chev to a 60, I don't know what it is. He's got that V in the side. You know what I mean? The 63 to 67 or 69. Yeah, yeah. He's got the V in the side of the Chev truck. Well, he took and cut that whole V out, sectioned it, and bring the truck back together and welded it back together. Oh. And so it's lower. And like Jolene said, you could walk right by that truck and not even know the amount of work that it took to get that there because you have to cut well obviously everything in half but yeah it's a, it's a bunch of work that a lot of people would walk on by and not even recognize exactly with when the, you look at this car yes the roof chop it's been done a million times yes um we, we had to make our own floor and all stuff it's been done a million times yes but to actually get the engine up where it's at and do all the other work yes it's been done a million times but you have to understand it's so much work. It all depends if you want your engine down here or if you want your engine up here. And if you if you want to change that any at all, it takes a lot of work. And some people walk right on by it and don't recognize it, but um, what can I tell you? I recognize. But that was a, a bunch of work that I don't know, you know, a lot of people probably would walk by it and not recognize it. I probably should just cut that out, but I don't want to cut it out yet until I make a pattern. What am I, a gas? You want the other welder? If, if I hit it, do you think it'll make it work? <laughs> <laughs> huh? You never know. I'm going to know how excited you get. Um, I'm just going to leave that down. You I want step. the other welder? I'll just pull it right over to you. Sure. Then you don't have to fool with it. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate that, buddy. Let's 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 make this pattern here so we know what's going on. We've got the inside. Uh, we've got that tacked on. I can finish it better if I get this cut off. But I need a pattern of it first. I need the pattern first. I wish stuff would blow on my floor in my garage this easy. Some, well, someday. Someday, he says. Mom's We're mom. just going to take the least amount that we can to repair this. Like, like, let's, this is actually quite a fun sport, is to be able to take a rusted old car and make it a car 
and do a bunch of customized work to it and do the light, least amount to it to get where you're going. What I'm thinking is, it's, it's kind of a fun game. I've got holes up in here, I can see them. I can see them. I'm, I'm guessing all this here. I turned the gas on this for each chamber here already. Thanks buddy, because I probably would forget. And it's plugged in. I'm gonna make it a little bit long. There we go for it. I need to get up and get them scissors. Let's cut this bad boy. We'll make it a little bit longer. We can always cut it after uh, we tack it on there and get it looking right. We can do that. Yeah, I can see through like further up. I, and I got spot there. Like I just don't want. If I start fixing that, well then it's you know like the feller said. If I give you a chip, I got to give everybody a chip. I like chips. so if I <laughs> but if I fix start fixing you know too much stuff, I want to close the bottom in basically. Um, close the bottom in. Make the make the basement tight, and then we'll go from there. That's what I want to do. Let's make this piece of metal. I actually would like to fit, see that fit better. I'm going to cut it again, just so I can see what's going on. I don't think I like the idea of, I'm going to go in the middle. I want to see the piece before I put it on. Before I put it on, if it's going to work or not. If it looks right. Whoops. I'm going to go with that. Let's do that. Let's make this piece. Look at that now, would you? Who would have thunk? Bring it up. There. You can hear the cows in the background. It's a good sound. It's like out on the motorcycle last night. People were haying, putting hay in. You got the good smells of the hay on route biking last night. I wonder if they felt the same way out in that hot field. <laughs> no, I, I was looking at them, thinking about when I was doing it as a teenager, though. I did do that. hay? Oh, yeah. Yep. Cool. That's, I used to hay do a lot of haying. Uh, we started to build my muscles. Yeah. Right? Haying, build your muscles. Build muscles, get some sweat yeah. on, lose some weight. Lose some weight? I never <laughs> thought that when I was 16. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> That's, no, that's not true. That's not true, Nate. I think I've, I've always had a, a weight. Maybe we'll just call it a love for food. I can eat anything, like I'm not fussy, as long as it's, you know. Doug yesterday ate that dog food. <laughs> dog food, yeah. <laughs> what? That's I just right. cut this the other way. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He said it tastes like cardboard. Yeah. I think if I go this way on it, maybe I'll get it. I flopped it over on that edge just because it's not adjusted right, that's all. And sometimes I don't slow down to fix it. Just High kinda, speed wobble. What's that? High speed wobble sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Just kind of <laughs> come the other way on it at a straight edge. It does get a bit messed up, but it's, it's so fast to cut it this way and then get the grinder going sometimes. I haven't been using it for a while. So. Jump back on it. Just flatten her out. I'm gonna beat her up quite, quite heavy there, but we're gonna make it, I don't know. Oh, that piece is holding me up. The old now humidity makes it some sticky today, don't it? Doesn't it's it? Sticky. 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 I'm going to use this one, this one, for sure. Let's get our power cord going. We have a dual master cylinder on there right now. It is doing the job for mock-up, but I got Jolene to order a single one, so it just 
looks better for the air, I guess. Basically, um, building this car, I'm trying to keep it, you know, as authentic as we can. Um, there's a few things on it that a person could notice, but there's nothing on there that anybody's not able to make or find or get themselves to do exactly what we have done. So if you're, I don't know, if you want one, all you have to do is have the, the will. The will, the yeah. want, and the, the will, willing to learn. Yeah, the will and the want, yeah. And not be scared to fail. Right. I can be basically, I've failed all my life. I failed too. <laughs> all right, I'm going to just probably cut that off. I'm sure I'll fail many more times at something. I don't think I'm up to the... Uh, I'm going to cut that off and then place this up in there. And the reason being is I start tacking that on there and cutting it. I'll probably end up making too big of a cut. This way here I can get it up nice and tight. The metal's thin. And I basically, I just want to cut that off. I don't want to, you know, I don't want that eighth of a gap or sixteenth of a gap. I don't want it. I want to try to fit that up there the best I can for that piece. You know what the hardest part is sometimes, Chad? Huh. Emitting failure. <laughs> That's the hard part sometimes. Base, but, it, but you must admit, people in this well, game, like you, your, your work is right in display, is it not? I guess your paint job is most of it, but yeah. your work tells everything, does it not? And you're kind of, I don't know. Going out. I don't know what to say. Don't know what to say, then, time. I'm gonna cut this bad boy off. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't want to take too much of the patina off. You know what I'm trying to tell you. You have Jolene Matt. You don't want to do that. No, Christ, no. I know. It won't be good. Put that bad boy. We'll try to get this as tight as we can. And that way there, uh, I knew I messed up there. I knew that. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. Put it in there as tight as we can. And that way there, um, we won't burn through it. Let's get that connected right there. Man, i got so many welders. You got me rocking and rolling already. Got the yeah, all you can do is turn it on. Oh my, 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 my. Gotta like that. Let's do this. Make this tight. Why not? them off. I'm using this process of welding this up, the spot weld. Um, but you can do it any way you want to. A lot of people do the plug weld. Uh, it's just a lot slower for me, the plug weld. Like it, it's a lot slower for everybody because you know why? It's a lot more work. And sometimes I'd have had failure in the plug weld and it's probably my fault and I have no problem admitting it, but I enjoy this way better because of how quick it is. And um, once I tack it on like that, um, it, it's hard to get off. Like, 
I know a plug weld is hard to get off also, but that little spot weld that I put on there, they're hard to get off. Guarantee it. You end up ripping them off is what happens. I'm just going to get here and weld the seam up on the back side of this bad boy so it stays. All right, that's good. Let's weld the front side on, I think. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, what do I want to do? I want that just as tight that metal as I can get it. Just to be honest with you, it's thin. Little spot right there. Just want to trim that. I want to get that fit a little better there. Sand my knuckles off, I don't want it. Sand me knuckles off, I don't want it. No, nope, don't like that either. I'm gonna go with that right there. One to hold it. Very thin, like tissue paper. But we ain't gonna hold it against the car. It's not its fault. I'm mean, going to. I gotta get a. Let's push that way. Just trying to be very delicate how I'm putting it on. I want it to be the best it can be for what it is. Very thin, I'm, I keep saying that. The reason being is because it is. Hammer. Bend that around. Hmm. I'm gonna try that out. So i bend this first. Sometimes the best, pla the best place to shape your metal is tack to the car. Sometimes. Not all the time. I'm known for it. That's what I do a lot, is I will tack a piece of metal to the car and make it go where I want it to go because I'm the boss. I'm the one that's putting it on. I'm the boss. Don't know if I want that much in there. We're not fitting so good down here at the bottom, but you know how that goes. Um. I guess another thing too is, it's like the phone, like Jolene does the phone, she's really good at handling it with her hands. That's the exact same practice that we're doing here. For me to hold this on my chest, take a hammer, hold that piece of metal out, put my helmet down and weld it, it is quite daunting for someone that's never done it before. And it's just like the phone for me, Jolene can handle it with ease. Me, not so much. <laughs> and that's okay. There. Now we got a little bit of going on. I want to um, I want to tap it with a hammer. Try to get the best fit. I got the hammer right here in my hand. Hmm. That's all right. I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit. What's going on here right now? I got a little, like it's quite tight, the metal is. So I'm hitting the, the, the metal, the good metal, and burning it over onto the rusty metal. Because if I start over, if I start in the middle or on the rusty stuff, it won't be good. So I'm starting on the good stuff and then running it over. I got material. 
you know, if you know what I'm trying to add. There's material there for me to use. Now I'm going to hit it. Just because I can. Let's get this one here. It feels good. See that? See how thin that is? Just a dot and I'm three quarters away on, on, uh, on the good stuff. That's what happens. Then you just get a little smarter. There we go. I like that. Lovey dovey. Stick. And it did. Alrighty, coat hanger. Don't have to weld that up the coat hanger, just no way around it. I feel probably just popped off. <laughs> Your coat. Look at that, we got a fan on it. And you have to remember when that car was in there, that breather was up. You know, it was up here a little bit on the cow. So basically, the car is basically going to have to go back on somewhat to find out the rights and wrongs, I guess. What do I need now? Is there an air hose anywhere nearby? It's right there and the blow gun's right there. Perfect. So I've given Nathan <laughs> some options. There's one is a Mustang radiator. We get at a flea market, which causes a lot of customization to make that work. Because we have four outlets of water and we only have two on that one. And we only have two on that one. Then there's a Dodge radiator over there. Did you see that radiator there? They made it yeah, the yeah, buckets yeah. too? Yeah. Yeah. It showed us exactly what to do, but just... <laughs> they just screwed it on so it looked like they had yeah, four of Exactly. Bits. I don't blame a bit. I've done the same thing. Probably made them quite happy just looking at it. Oh, I think it did. Probably. So I'm going to put some coat hanger in this, and the reason being that that's what it is right there. Not fixing all that. I'm going to fix just what I need. Let's get this... Maybe I should... Should... Uh, Get it put together then weld it up maybe that's what i'll do just want to make it look a little bit better and what will make it look a little better is if i let's fill that hole so i'm going to leave it like that we're going to trim it up a little bit and then we'll put the other piece in and that way there you don't have to watch me weld it up. Now, let's make that fit right. I'm going to sand it down here in the bottom. I don't like how it's going around here. I'll cut that off a little bit. So we got the marker. Huh. Look at this. that off. It's coming around. Get that welded down line there and around there. I don't know if I like... Let's go look at the other side. Give a little structure there. This is what I, let's, I just don't know how thick it is there. Let's go to the other side and see what that looks like. If you're able to make it through, I'm not sure. To me, from here to here, it gets thinner. So basically, we'll go look at it from here and see if it gets thinner. And it does. Like it's thicker here than it is here. Eh, we probably could come down a little bit. Let's try that. Just gonna cut a little bit more off it.
Let's put a piece on it. Let's do this. Cut this. should but <laughs> it just went let's do it Now we can get up in there better. That's for sure. Basic thing is same as being spot welded on your car, your car is spot welded together. That's the basic same thing, but mine's above board, not together. Mm. We'll cut this after. Now let's make the last piece. Let's make the last piece not the last supper it's the last piece we're a little bit narrower there than we are there let's go for it it's straight I want something straight Basically, we have to go up in here, but it's not straight all the way around. We got a little curve going. Let's do this. Pull that down. Hmm. No, I need to make my own curve there. I wonder if I put that back up there. Is that going to fit? Let's do this. Let's try it. See if we get lucky. I'm going to take that curve down a little bit longer. The reason was it wasn't long enough. Uh, no, I need to be more straight there. The curve's good though. Let's do this. See my curve? I need a curve way down here. So I need to do this. Start my curve down here. That's just that curve right here. And then we need to go straight. But that's what the, 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 the book said. Now look at that. You go on the other side. See how that fits around the corner? Right here. That fits. That fits oh so lovely. That's fantastic. Magnifique. Okay, that's our piece for there. We're gonna take and cut that off. Let's probably go right there. And that fits. Let's do it. Get one. 
the slide down between that frame rail. This is our piece. Let's make it just a little bit bigger because we can sand it, uh, sand it off. We can sand it off. So that little piece goes, voila. Now I was thinking about something. I was going to make it out of one piece. But uh, to be honest with you, with the curve that's going here, I'm not going to be able to put it, make it as one, uh, make it as one piece. And the reason being is um, I'm not going to spend the time and the effort um, to do that when I can make it out of two pieces. Um, with, with I bent it, if I try to make this, this piece here going straight up, and this piece here, um, that line is curved there. I'm not going to be able to break it. It just, it just won't work. And for me to go in and pound on it and pound on it and pound on it, I'm not going to do that either. We're going to take just another piece of metal. We're going to shove one however it needs to be. I may have to get a piece of paper, I guess. Uh, whew, whew, just add a little bit to the top. Cut this off. add some down here let's get that going right and we need to add some to the top <laughs> just go straight from there that's what I'll do so let's get this piece of metal is it right here oh man I'm not sure what to say And that down there is that important. I'll go get another piece of metal. I get another piece of metal. Got a rush on now. Hear that skiff? I threw out some metal yesterday. Reason being, it was time to clean up. And there was, like now, here I am going to look for a small piece of metal. And uh, I threw a bunch in there. And we got this big piece of metal in the way. sharp I didn't look for anything rusty I'm just gonna fix it I'm just gonna fix it um, that's gonna be cut off yet my scissors that make that straight get that gap back okay. let's do this we're just going to add a little bit to that because we can boom that's straight let's take it that f stuff laid over there very 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 sharp Watch yourself, it'll cut you every time. See what's going on there with Nathan? What, he, what he's going through right at the present moment? He's got a fan that would cut off every hose. <laughs> and the reason of being is, is of the change of the, of the height of the motor. I've got one thing that would work, but it's not what you want, what you want to use. <laughs> Go for it, tell me. The aluminum red, Yeah. if I take and nip these corners off the side of this bracket, on the side, just these corners here, if this was just nipped up a little bit right here, yeah. that will set down in the frame, and it will go down in and over the fan. It just looks a little big, right? Or I can set that, will fit down in that frame. Just see the nip of, see the touch corner that touches there? Yeah. The corner on the other side, I can drop that down in there, is it'll be a head here a little ways, it'll drop down two inches. And, two, and then this pipe would be down two inches and the pipe would just go over top of that. But we're looking at 
Two, well, if we had something level to say here, I don't know where two inches be higher than the. It looks kind of big, right? Like, that's the one to the motor, but that was for in that truck. Right. Nipping the edges off that is not going to hurt that one. No, second. that there's just the. That's just the. If if you want to nip the edges off that, and then just can, nip them both the same. Yeah. So that ain't gonna do nothing. That's just where a fan trail bolts on. If I have to return it, they'll think, well, we know nothing done to that one. <laughs> oh, return it back to the sea can? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what it's gonna get, yeah. But I could nip them just a little the bit. The old return process is probably taking its um taking a beating. Prince's auto is still real good. But a lot of a lot of places don't like to return. Cost you a bunch. Had to have that. Did I have that in there? Correct. Wrong. I can weld that there. Yeah. Let's take that and shove that in there. Yeah. I don't mind. I can weld that little spot there together. Uh, basically, I want to do this too. Like I'd probably like to. That fits in there nice. I want to take a look on the inside and see what it looks like. Because if it looks like dog poo, I probably won't go for it. That's not bad. But I could cut it out and butt weld it together, if you know what I'm saying. It's not bad. Like it's Today's a piece of metal laying on, on the inside of the inside of the thing. How you doing? Good. I didn't have my 40 bucks cash for the hat last time, so I come back to get it. Oh awesome. <laughs> can can you can you just have have a seat for a second? You do, you do what you do. Okay, Thu, thanks. We'll be right with you. So what's going on here is I've got that piece and I've got it in behind there. I can cut that and, and butt weld that together. It's just holding it in there nice, that's all. That's what I'm thinking. It's holding it in there nice. It's holding it in there nice. I cut that with two snips. Just one. Go with the two snips, we're to grind it. Yeah, we'll grind it. And I can cut it and weld it. Inch over there. But I you know what? Beat it up some, so it fills that hole there. There's where we want it. Sometimes it takes a little bit to figure out where you want things, but it was not covering all the holes. It was not covering everything. And I'm going to cut that off. It's going to... Let's do it. It's going to leave it like that for now. We'll get it put together and then we'll deal with it after. We we'll get everything looking good. All this stuff here is in, in, in my eye of what I want to be done, how I want it cut. There's lots here, but there's lots on the back side curtain here, like we cut off down there. Then there's a lot even, even on the front. But. Even, even though I put a, a fair bit of weld right there. It's still just tacked once. It can be moved at any point in time. All right, now, let's do this. Did we cut this piece? I didn't cut that piece, did I? What's that? Me neither. But we need to get this piece. Let's put this piece in. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to... What am I going to do there? I'm just going to want a pair of channels in the channel. Just trying it out here a little bit. That's got to go in there a little ways. I'm going to clamp that together. Even though I'm going to cut it off, I want to clamp it together.
Okay. I'm gonna try to this up here. When I squeeze that, pull that away, it's tired up there. It's much easier to squeeze this together than you try to get that put together. So I'm gonna knock this on. I'd be a fool not to. Sometimes that stuff when you're doing this stuff, you know, if I'm if I'm trying this stuff all together, and I know that somewhere it's gonna be hard to get together, and this is affecting it, and this is easier, you better jump off and go get the easier stuff first and then and then come back. Because this is always like, like I can always put this on, don't matter if it wrinkles or what it does. Like that's what it, I'm getting burnt. That's another thing right there too. See how I had a, I don't know which, which I'm cutting off, but I had like a little bubble in the center too. So um, it was about that long. So I actually went in the center of it first and then worked out this little bubble and worked out that little bubble sort of deal thing. This kind of goes with, and that's still getting cut off. So it doesn't much matter. Let's put the bottom piece on. So we've got the inside piece, we've got the outside piece, we've got the outside of the body. Now we just got to connect that Frenched part there. And I got a pattern right here. I thought I did. I still should have. Once I get that put on there, um, our piece is pretty well made. Let's do it. The, the line that I want. The line that I want the most is, is this one here. This one on the outside, I can shave it. I can do... Shave it. It reminds me of a, of a joke. Do you know how to change, put a... Do you know how to make a triangle into a straight line? Shave it. <laughs> Just a, a little giggle joke. Did you giggle? <laughs> yeah, he giggled. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he had a little giggle. Okay. What do you think of that, Nate? I'm Is trying it... to think of folding it over and this and that. And... Uh, shave a straight line. <laughs> there you go. Shave it off. This line in here is one we want. And the reason I did not make it in two pe one piece underneath there, like I said before, if I bent a ninety on this piece, I wouldn't. It wouldn't have got anywhere because this is round. It, it would not have done it. Okay. Like up front, that's all I had to do because it was straight. Where it's all right. Most important line is the inside. This one. And I'm just going to cut it off. Make it easier to deal with, maybe. It's always good when you put the handle up, then you bend down, the handle comes down, hit you on top of the head. Jolene knows exactly how that feels, ain't Jolene? Huh? Whack! Oh, doing them louvers that time. That was a yeah. That was a bigger bar, wasn't it? I forget. You can actually hear the. Yeah. It's it was... Not very good sound. It's not very good sound. <laughs> Explain yourself, Nathan. <laughs> See this. I heard that sound one time before, and that was when a guy uh, got uh, smocked and his head hit the asphalt. Yeah. The ground, and it didn't sound very good when he went down, he was out. Yeah. Jolene popped up like a rabbit.
the outside is the one that doesn't matter a whole lot. All I, all I need to have is enough. All I need to have is enough. Mocking her up just like that. Mocking her up. Boy, oh, gee, that thing. I don't know, Nate. I don't know, buddy. I gotta see how much harder, how much further can you get it down? Uh, not much. Not much? I just wanna see what the drill on it. <laughs> and then that, I don't know if that there one's. There lies your issue. What's that? There lies the issue. There. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan has just come to the final scope of the situation. <laughs> now, let's put this piece on and we can call it a, a piece that we need to weld up and cut and finish. Ooh. That's nice. <laughs> Snip the end off here. But, There we go, right there. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take this off. Let's stick this bad boy on. Do this. There you go, Chad. Could happen. I get to take a look here. Plug that on there. Reason being, because it has a nice swoop to it. Get that to the down. One, two. How much more? Up this corner first. What I was going to tell you, when I push that, it ran that corner away. I want to get that corner stuck in there. I want that corner stuck in there. You don't want to push up on it while I'm on it. Just make sure it's tight as it can be. There, that's better. Much better. Put that down another inch. Right 
do this. Let's cut that off. to hold it for me that's why I left it um, I want a little more shape right there just push it out a little bit before I weld it yeah see I can push that a little bit cool Roll it together. I like this right here. Let's tighten it up a little bit. Let's just tighten it up a little bit. I like where the metal's at right now because I can wrap it around it off a little bit. We got a little bit of a gap on each and it's Right on the edge. I'll just down here. Do I want to push that out some? I think I do. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. that down another inch Chad still. What's that buddy? Inch, inch and a half. Easy. Mm -hmm. I can still take that down more. I'll, I'll just leave it for now. Have a look at what we got. Must be getting close to dinner, is it? So, I'm going to buzz this off. Left a little bit of metal on the edge of that, because I'm going to burn that metal over to the rusty metal. Because uh, there's not very good... It's good, bud. It's a little... It's on the thin side. Welding tissue paper right now. If I grind it and cleaned it, it'd be gone. That makes sense? Put a little hole going there, I'll fix that with a co hanger. Let's, cu let's cut this off so you can see what it's going to look like. I'm going to take and do this. Actually, I'm not going to cut it off because I don't want that to stay together. I think I do. Now, what I'll do, that'll get cut off. I'm going to cut it off anyways. I'll just leave a little bit of I'll cut it off. And then you can see what it's going to look like. And check the back, make sure everything's okay.
just a bump in the camera. That's all. She's trying to get a shot. I gotta get a zip cut. I gotta get up and get a zip cut. I get one. Gold. That is gold. Can the fan come down in any all, Nate? Can that is that possible? Just take a look at it. That bracket that that goes on. Can that fan can be dropped down more? Is that possible? Like, I know you like you could lengthen it. I guess long. It's just as long as it never hit anything. I. We'll do a decent job or you know weld it in solid and we'll grind it so it looks good but that's basically what we had to do to fix that it gives us our inner fender back it gives our, our body thing back it's hard to tell that the body line's still there because i've just put it on the top of it i didn't get into it like there's still that that hollow right here like i didn't get into it there so it should still be fine like we're still in this lip but Basically, that's where we're going with it. I'll get that. I'll weld that all solid down there. We'll weld it solid across there. We'll spot weld it along the bottom, solid along here. We'll grind it up as you know as clean as we can to make it look as good as we can. If I start touching the metal on the other on the other on the car, it could go other places. And right now, this is what I've asked Nathan to think about or try to do. That fan moves quite a ways. He's got it down as far as it can go right now. But what now what I'm wondering is, if we lengthen this and still had it bolted there, could we move that fan down like an inch or two? Or? If I had that other bracket there, it can come down. It's the cast bracket. With that aluminum bracket slid down on that intake farther with an aftermarket intake, that other bracket fit it better. Okay. That one there doesn't slide down quite as far. So do you, this, what do you think is that cast or steel? That's cast steel. You think it's cast? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You Soft still can cast. weld it though. Soft cast. You can still, you can still weld that if it's good cast. Um, if that could be lengthened, that would be like that would get that fan down some. And I, listen, it wouldn't even hurt me to cut a little bit of the fan and the fan off like I've done it before. And I've oh, sometimes have an issue and sometimes I don't. But let's face it, 1% of the time she'll probably drive it. 1% just like the rest of the cars. Like you're basically busy. Just ask Jimbo. He will tell you 1% of the time. If I take that bracket thing. This is the dilemma that Nate is going through. And, and I must say, the stuff like, like Nate made that clutch pedal and stuff, that takes time. The three little pins that he showed, to cut three bolts off and drill three holes through them, you know what I mean? And just to make three pins, you know what I'm saying? Like that, and then you have to cut it, like that, that stuff, you know, you just don't do that within seconds. It takes time. Just like figuring this stuff out, it takes time. You have to think about it. And once you try something and it fails, and then you're back into it again. I can take that cast bracket in behind. We can take that bracket and sand the inside of it a bit so it slides down further too. We can, yeah, it could come down so that's dead. But we still have to adjust up with the belts on. Yeah, tighten it, right? right. It still has to come back up some to tighten the belts. Well, that's that's where I was at when I was playing with it. I was thinking maybe mm -hmm. we would be able to put that down there, but we did not know until we mopped it up. Yeah. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks for coming back. Really appreciate it. Nathan's in the house, and. I'm in the house and Queen Jolene's in the house. Do me a favor, have a great day and come back tomorrow.